Hey guys, Dennis78382. There's the Love Shack, folks. That's what I call my rig. I've been uh, urban boondocking for about 14 months now here in South Texas. I drive for Uber and Lyft, so I use that vehicle to make uh, money. I uh, sleep in the back there. I got a Lear cab on the back there. I'll have to show you the setup in a little bit. Uh, there was a uh, Chris Stapleton and um, Jamie Johnson concert tonight. So I had a very good night, had a very good day. Probably my most lucrative day ever uh, doing rideshare. So yay for me. Just uh, at Applebee's waiting for some regular customers to come out. Then I'm gonna drive them home, probably call it a night. Good morning, everyone. Back of the truck, 68 degrees, around 5.30 a.m. Got my uh, Coleman butane stove going. Got my uh, tea kettle from Smitty, boiling some water. Gonna have some uh, instant oatmeal. Got my tap light over there from uh, from Drew. Got my uh, Dewalt fan going for a little air circulation. And uh, just getting ready for breakfast. Just starting the day, guys. Just driving up today to see Rusty78609. Going here through uh, Tap, Texas. Kind of an overcast day, but no rain is expected. So I'm looking forward to that. And I got something in my tire. So I drove back to Portland, got it fixed, and now I'm back in Taft, Texas. Going through Sinton, heading north. A little bit under a four hour drive to Rusty's house, four hours each way. Uh, I was just in the mood for a drive too, so it worked out good. Uh, thought I'd go up and spend um, St. Patrick's Day with a, a couple beers with Rusty. And uh, I love driving through these small towns and uh, Seeing them back, of course, a little bit bigger town, San Antonio. There's the Tower of America right there. Um, San Antonio, I believe, is the seventh largest city in the United States. They got a pretty good highway system. You don't hit the traffic like you do in, in uh, like, say, Houston or Dallas. Um, getting up into the Texas Hill Country here, just rolling hills. Love this area, creeks, rivers. Those old-timey bridge kind of remind me of the Pennsylvania bridges where uh, north of us where we grew up. And uh, lots of hills, lots of mountains in the distance. Big hills, small mountains. Uh, a friend had recommended this uh, spot in uh, Marble Falls, a Blue Bonnet Cafe, and I'm glad she did. Food was delicious, had some awesome uh, coconut cream pie. I'd go back there just for the pie. Food was really good, though. Service was good. Friendly people. Kind of an uh, iconic place. Saw this little area on the side of the highway. Pulled over. It said Scenic View. And uh, it did not disappoint. It was a nice little surprise. It's a beautiful area. That leads down to uh, what they call Lake LBJ. Um, it actually goes all the way down to Austin. So uh, it's pretty impressive. I love those mountains in the distance there. But uh, this was a very pretty view. The camera just doesn't do it justice. And I imagine it's something on a sunny day. But uh, give you a little bit better perspective there. But I uh, kind of drove by Rusty's house to go, because I'm early, uh, check out uh, Inks Lake State Park. And you, this looks so familiar to me because Rusty has driven it in his videos so many times. Uh, Rusty78609, check out his channel. I know a lot of my subscribers are Rusty's subscribers and came from him, and I appreciate that, but this is the little burned-out area right outside the entrance to Inks Lake State Park. And uh, I didn't film Rusty on this trip. I'm going there to see him as a friend, not to, you know, interview him or to put a camera in his face, but I'm glad I did. I had a really good visit with him, and... With my health and his age, you never know when you're going to get together again. So every time I've seen him, it's been a good time. Coming down the road to see Rusty now, don't want to show you his house. But I highly recommend you visit him. So I don't know how much of this I can actually eat, but this will be the first food since Monday. And I didn't eat much on Monday. And I'm going to eat everything super slow and make it last. But I got ginger ale angel food cake, uh, chicken noodle soup with crackers. What's in there? Some margarine and some uh, Mrs. Dash maybe. I have a wheat roll and uh, mashed potatoes, salmon, 
and broccoli. And I am going to eat real slow and make this last at least an hour and enjoy it. Not bad for hospital food, guys. No complaint with the food here. Except they wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> Just going to take a little drive uh, down Water Street in Rockport. Mostly a little bit older houses here. It's about 83 degrees. Sunny. It's going to be like this for a few days. So I uh, thought I'd get out and enjoy it. You can see the water is pretty shallow there. Sounds beautiful. This is really my first drive around since getting out of the hospital. Got out yesterday. And uh, here's a lady. Hunts Castle. Little uh, hotel condo type place. Little decorative yard piece. I like this street, pretty laid back. Be nice to come down here for a little laid back vacation and see they got the little little barbecue pits, picnic tables. They got a small pool right there, right on the bay. Great little town to go fishing in. Uh, tell you what folks, it's nice to be outside and there's some birds, bird feeders. I've been out for a couple of hours now and I am, uh, I'm fading. I'm going to need to go, uh, go rest up. But I think what I might do is just find a neat place to park and just, uh, kind of be outside for a little bit, maybe get 15 minutes of sun or something. Man, that water's just gorgeous today shallow you can see the way the sun's hitting it just you know simple houses little oyster bed there a little natural oyster bed years ago at the end of this uh, road uh, Tom Benson uh, he's passed away now but he used to own the New Orleans Saints and he had a house down here. Some of uh, Rockport's celebrities. Um, who else? George Strait. Either had a house or still has a house on Key Allegro. Um, I don't know. Some people say he recently sold it. So, um, I don't know. Uh, if I get ambitious enough I'll go online and check the tax records and see who owns it this hotel is still sitting here the company I used to work for had a nightmare at this place just a nightmare with the owners trying to trying to renovate it and them not knowing what they wanted and just a mess just a mess Do not remember this little stone uh, facade front here. Pretty neat. A little different looking with all the rock and all. But uh, I'm healing up. I'm doing okay. Uh, thanks to you guys, uh, friends that donated to the GoFundMe and people that PayPal'd me. I, I got time to heal up. Um, once I'm healed up, I don't know how good work's going to be for Uber and Lyft drivers. We don't know when this is going to end, you know? Uh, I don't know if this is the correct response or not. And I honestly don't know. I'm not criticizing the way we're handling things here in our country. I don't know. I like to think there's people that know more than I do and hopefully uh, they're running things to the best of their ability. But I do know the people are awesome. 
Um, this experience I went through uh, really makes me um, believe in people even more. I've always been one of those people that donated to PayPal accounts, whether I, I, I knew the person or not, because I know when so, someone has to start one of those GoFundMe things, it, it's embarrassing. You know, you're you're asking for help. You're, you're letting people know you need help. And these amazing people contribute. And I've, I've always contributed to PayPal's, you know, uh, not PayPal's, well, sometimes PayPal, but, um... What's up, guys? Just saw some very nice uh, people that I used to work with. Uh, Brian and Melissa. Just awesome, awesome people. So that's nice. That's funny. I, I stopped filming when I recognized them, but jokingly, I said to Brian, uh, six feet, and, you know, they're there working construction, so he pulled out his tape measure and made sure... So we're all legal. Any uh, any county officials see this, our uh, interaction was legal. But um, here's new construction. Man, these apartments during the hurricane. I mean, it, it hasn't even been three years since the hurricane. Two and a half years ago, there was uh, three huge apartment buildings here and they were just leveled, man. They were leveled during the hurricane. And the, tornadoes and all that so it's nice to see new construction going up it's a neat little town very good people going on church street for those of you that are familiar you people that have vacationed here this is church street in rockport kind of heading back to the downtown area and um I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put some videos out over the next few days. I know my energy level's not up. I'm not acting as stupid as I usually do. So you guys bear with me. I'll be back to uh, senseless shenanigans in no time. There's a traveler going down the road, out in the middle of nowhere. Needed a place to stay for the night, saw a farm. Farm had a barn. Went up, knocked on the farmer's door, and said, I've, I've been traveling, sir, for days. Could I could I please sleep in your barn? The guy says, of course you can sleep in my barn. The guy goes out to the barn. The uh, farmer and his family are very generous. They bring him out dinner. They bring him breakfast the next morning. They uh, give him fresh water. The guy says, I, I, I have to earn my keep. I have to pay you back. He says, no, you don't have to pay us back. He's like, let me, um, I see your wood pile's low. Let me chop wood. And he's like, it's like we're we're good. We have, we have we have farm help here. Don't worry about it. Let me uh l l let me um let me help you plow. I know how to plow. Uh, we we got help for that. We're good. He's like, I have to do something. Uh, let let me talk to your livestock. I uh I communicate with animals. And the guy's like, I'll tell you what, buddy. You you go do whatever you want to do. If you feel the need to pay us back, I appreciate it. Guy goes and talks to the animals. Comes back to the farmer says, uh, well, I, I talked to quite a few animals. The farmer says, yeah? And he says, yeah. I, uh, I talked to your dog. He loves it when you scratch him behind the ears. The farmer says, that, that's right. That's right. But, you know, what dog doesn't like to be scratched behind the ears? And the guy said, well, I, I talked to your horses. When they're pulling the plow, you recently changed over to a triangle bit. It actually hurts their mouth. They want you to go back to the rounded bit It'll allow them to pull harder and uh, work better for you. And the guy says, I, I actually did switch to a triangular bit. That's, that's amazing. And the guy said, I talked to the cows. The cow says sometimes in the morning when you milk them, your hands are cold. If you could warm up your hands first, it would make it easier on them. They'd be able to put out more milk for you. And the guy's like, you know what? I haven't done that lately. I just haven't taken the time to warm up my hands. This is amazing. I mean, you're right about the dog. You're 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 you're, uh, you're right about the horses, and you're right about the cow. I, I I don't doubt you at all now. And the guy said, "Oh, and by the way, I talked to the sheep." The farmer says, "That damn sheep is a liar." Comedy gold, folks. Comedy gold. <laughs> 